cats. They come in many colours and patterns. These are determined by lots of different genes interacting. But some characteristics are inherited through just a single gene, including long or short hair in cats. The different forms of a gene for a particular characteristic are called alleles, and they're represented using letters. For example, in cats, uppercase H for short hair and lowercase h for long hair. Every organism inherits two alleles for each gene, one from each parent. The combination of alleles for a particular gene in an individual is called the genotype. And the way the genes are expressed, the appearance of the organism, is called the phenotype. Some characteristics, like short hair in cats, are dominant. Just one dominant allele in the genotype determines the phenotype. In cats, long hair is recessive. So a cat only has long hair if it has two recessive long hair alleles. When both of the alleles for a characteristic are the same, the individual is homozygous. When the two alleles are different, the individual is heterozygous. If two short-haired cats breed, you might expect short-haired offspring, but sometimes long-haired kittens appear. So how does this happen? If a kitten has long hair, we know both of its alleles must be recessive. This also tells us that the parent cats are heterozygous. They are both short-haired, so must have a dominant short-hair allele, but they must also both have a recessive allele to pass on to their long-haired kitten. The remaining kittens all have at least one allele for the dominant short hair. Some will be homozygous and some heterozygous. It's all down to chance. We can work out the probability of particular genotypes or phenotypes arising using a simple model called a Punnett square. Here we're using two heterozygous short haired cats. First, fill in the possible gametes from the parents, one along the top and one down the side. Then, work out all the possible combinations of gametes to give you the potential genotypes of the offspring. This also gives you the possible phenotypes. Kittens with a dominant allele will have short hair. Now, you can work out the probability of different genotypes occurring in the offspring. Here, the probability is that 25% will be homozygous dominant, 50% heterozygous, and 25% homozygous recessive. The expected phenotypes would be 75% short-haired kittens and 25% long-haired kittens. However, the combination of gametes is completely random. We can predict the most likely results, but you could end up with any combination at all.